his effort, uh, with his rebounding, um, making plays. He's just a – he's from Chicago. He's a tough kid. But, yeah, he was phenomenal. Doc, outscored these guys, I think, at 20 to 10 and uh, late in the fourth quarter when yeah. you turned it on. That had to be something. It is. You know, we uh, – clearly, what, 23 turnovers. You know, we were so sloppy. Um, we are almost trying not to get in each other's way at times. You can kind of feel that. Um, but to have the will to still try to win the game when you know you're not ready yet, you know, um, against a very, very good basketball team. So um, that was good for us. Doc, just going back to Pat for a second, it seemed like he was a little hesitant on offense in the first half. Yeah. Did you guys have, like, a little coming to Jesus We had a power out. Yeah. There's no doubt about that yeah. because, you know, uh, give them credit. They were just going to double team. They were, they were taking the risks. You know, they were going to leave guys open. Uh, and Pat was one of them. Um, you know what I loved about it? He missed the one that was wide open. We got it right back to him, and he shot it again in the second half. Uh, that, that just takes a lot of courage. Uh, Coach over here. Um, on one, can you speak about Lou Will's defense tonight? I thought he was kind of all over the place. He was poking the ball loose. The second time you've asked about Lou Will's defense. Well, it wasn't yeah. me. It was my, yeah. my partner the other oh, okay, time. But, okay. but me this time, well, I noticed Lou in particular on defense. Yeah, today you were right. Like, Lou made – he made three or four just terrific defensive plays, you know. Lou's competitive, you know, and he wants to be on the floor at the end of the game. And he knows they're not going to attack Pat. He knows they're not going to attack Kawhi. They're not going to attack Paul George. Uh, they're not going to attack Tres. So he, he's smart enough to look around the room and say, I'm the one. Uh, and give him credit. He stood up to it. Hey, Doc, all things considered, what did you make of how Kawhi and Paul debuted together? We won. We didn't um, – we, we need a lot of work. Uh, you can see that. Uh, you know, in transition, I just thought we were, we were so sloppy in transition. Uh, and part of it is we were, like, trying to get the ball to guys instead of trying to score. I mean, there were times when we, we had direct line drives and instead we were looking across court. So, you know, listen, I, I can't wait to watch it uh, to see. You know, Doc, the last few weeks you've played Boston, Milwaukee, and Toronto, three teams that are pretty darn good in the East. Two yeah. of the three you've won. Yeah. One of them you had two guys out. you got to reflect back on that and say to yourself, that's got to be feeling pretty good. Well, i gotta ref I got to look forward. We have Houston uh, coming up. And, you know, like I said earlier in the year, we're just trying to figure out a way of winning games, and then we want to become a good team. You know, right now we're winning games, uh, but we have not become a good team yet. Uh, and so we, we, we have a lot of work. Uh, we are a, clearly a work in progress. Our guys know that, though, uh, and they understand that. Doc, you guys held uh, Kemba and Jalen in check for the most part tonight. Was that just an individual thing, a, gr a group effort? To just it's always a group. I thought Mo Harkless, you know, it was funny. I don't know if he scored uh, or not, but he guarded Kemba uh, basically exclusively uh, with the help of traps, you know. Um, I thought Zub and Trez were, were phenomenal in their traps. Uh, but Mo's size took away a lot of shots, um, and, and, and that was terrific. We let Jalen get going in the third, you know, and he, he clearly, I thought Pat did a great job on him, and then he got going. And once he got going, he was hard, he was hard to turn off. I know you mentioned sloppiness, uh, especially early on, but late in the game, that last, that last uh, three-minute push, I think all five of the players on the court scored at some yeah. point. Is that the balance you're envisioning That's with that balance. group? Just listen, if they're going to try to take something away, if we just trust the pass, the ball will find the open guy, and the open guy will make the shot. Um, I thought we did that down the stretch. Now, I didn't think we did that most of the game. I thought we were trying to make a lot of plays instead of just making a simple play. But I thought once we start doing that, uh, we were great. Uh, Doc, for, for a guy who missed the last three games with a bruised knee, what would you think of the dunk? And how much of a luxury is it to have a guy like Kawhi close out and block a shot at the end there like that? Yeah, it's a luxury to have him, period, you know, in every way. And you can see him and, and Paul uh, way over the minutes. You wanted to play him tonight, you know, um, which, uh, you know, I kept checking in on him. Uh, Paul was actually more concerned with it than Kawhi. Uh, Minute-wise, because he, he's just not played. You know, it's funny. In the first half, he told me, "Man, I gotta play more. I gotta get in better shape. I'm exhausted out here." You know, and 
uh, <laughs> we're going to have a practice, so I don't know where you're going to get it. Maybe this game helped, you know, because uh, he had, he was pretty strong at the end of Doc, as, as fate would have it, you know, within their first game together without really practicing together, you have a situation where you got to choose who takes the game-winning shot, the last yeah. shot at the end of the game. Uh, walk us through that decision and, and to go with Kawhi there. There wasn't and much of a decision on that one. I thought Kawhi was ready, and he was. We, we really messed the play up. It's a great example. You know, you can see Paul and Lou. They uh, were supposed to go at eight. They went at 14. Uh, and the play was completely broken and just turned into an ISO. There were more action. Uh, to that play, um, and they, you can see them when they all walked off the floor, they knew. Um, but, you know, that's, again, that trial and error, and we're going to mess some stuff up, you know. Uh, but, again, to win it was good. The the uh, starting group that you went with, I think, on paper, is your best defender at each position. What did you think of how that unit looked defensively? They look good, you know. Um, Zub is just playing phenomenal. He, he really is, you know. Trapping Kimba Walker f for Zub is not easy, you know. And you, Kimba's so crap, you can see him trying to beat Zub on the outside. And we told him whenever Kimba gets on the outside, stop guarding him, run to the rim, because he'll be there in a second, you know. And uh, I think Zub got two or three of them, you know. Uh, he beat him the first time, and then the rest of the game, I thought Zub beat him to the rim. So, um, you know, he's so young. When you think about it, and the fact that he's he's going through all this right now, it's been fantastic. Doc, Jason Tatum, third year in the league. Yeah. Uh, any thoughts on how far this can go in the? Well, as long as he stays in the East, I'm, I, I want him to be the best that he possibly can be. You know, um, <laughs> terrific kid too. You know, it's uh, we got a bunch of those right now in our league. We got a lot of young players uh, who are phenomenal players, but just really good kids. Uh, I think our league is in maybe the best place it's ever been. Doc, obviously everyone feels good, but for you, does a win over, over Boston mean a little more at all? No, not at all. You know, uh, a win means a lot, you know. You know, it's funny as coaching-wise, uh, you, you don't have that like when you were a player, you know. Uh, you just want to beat them. Brad and I are very close. It's almost uncomfortable playing them more than, than you're, you're, you're prideful. It really is, you know.